On January 26, 2011, this is Polling You number 32. Welcome, everyone. It's Michael here from Bridge Hands and more on negative doubles. Today, we'll discuss some refinements on part two. I hope you'll endure some PowerPoint slides with me. So, if you're ready, let's begin. First off, the requirements point-wise for negative doubles, that is the responder, is about half of what it was when we discussed last week on takeout doubles. So, at the one level, um, how about six points or more? So if it goes one diamond by our partner, one heart by righty, a double by us, six points should do it. How about if they go to the two level? So one spade by partner, two diamonds. If we double now, we should have maybe another queen or another king in our hand. So maybe about eight or nine points at the two of the minor. And then if it happened to be where it was one spade, they go two hearts, we double. Well, now we'd want 10 points. Once we get up to where we're boosting it into the three level, obviously we do not have three card support with partner, or we would have bid some number of spades. So at this point, when we're saying three level, we should have 10 points or more. Okay, so how about responder strength examples? Okay, so once again, one club by partner, one heart by righty, we double. In this auction, we happen to have a king four times. Perfect. We have four cards in the major. Very good. We do have shortness in the righty's heart suit. We've got a king fourth of diamonds and three babies in partner suits. So we have two cover cards for those two kings there. And we like having cover cards, don't we? The primary honors. So sure, this would be a good time with six points or more to go ahead and make a double. Next. How about when it goes a preempt by our right-hand opponent, Drat? One club by partner, two hearts by righty. This time we're going to take a look at a hand, the first one, where it's king fourth, two double, another king fourth, same hand as before. We want to have nine points to be able to make a double, and we don't have nine points. We just have that bare six, so we're going to have to let partner come to the rescue before we can make a call. Maybe our partner will do a reopening double. How about this one? One club, two hearts, pass. Um, give ourselves a little bit more. Let's give ourselves a queen. Hmm. But the heart queen, we can't really value that, can we? That's their suit. Um, can you just imagine maybe right-hand opponent having ace-king six times in hearts? Not going to be so good with our queen. It's going to fall, so it's really only about six-pointer, right? So, nope, sorry, can't open with that one. We'll have to go ahead and pass and see what partner wants to do. Okay, next one. One club by partner, two hearts again by righty. This time we have a king of spades four times, um, a doubleton, not a queen X, a doubleton this time, just worthless, our king fourth of diamonds, and we have a queen third, a queen in partner suit. Hmm. So it looks like a good eight points, maybe even one for distribution. I'd say let's go ahead and do it. Let's make a call. All right. How about another hand? Same bidding the way it starts. How about this one? Three kings, king of spades, king double ten of hearts, king four times of diamonds, and the three babies in clubs. Yeah, I like where the king is placed. We didn't like with queen double ten, but king double ten... With ace-queen to our right, I would give it full values, and a double ten is nice also. So nine points, maybe a distribution point? Sure, why not? Okay, how about another one? Let's say they go to three hearts. Boy, they just keep bidding higher and higher, don't they? So one club, three hearts by righty. Would you do a double? Here's our hand. Same one before. Kings in the spades, hearts, and diamond suit with a king double ten of hearts. Hmm. Nine points, I think one for distribution. This is that 10-pointer. I think it's close enough to do it. Well, if we did it at the two level and we did it at the three level, you know it's coming next, don't you? Okay, one club, four hearts double. Our hand is just a little bit different. Now we have a four, one, four, five shape. King fourth in spades. Stiff baby in hearts. King fourth in diamonds. And king fifth, lovely, in partner's club suit. Yeah, I'd still do a negative double. Same nine points. I would give myself some distribution points for the singleton in hearts. 
good for a couple more. I'm willing to go ahead and take a chance and see if we can get a four spade game. If not, partner, hey, let's go ahead and see what we can do in clubs. I'll come back to your club suit. If Righty has got an eight card suit, I think there's some more distribution somewhere else. Oh, we certainly see ours. Four, one, four, five to shape. So I would go ahead and make a bid there also. It's a competitive auction, and the more that they bid, and the more that we have shortness in their suit, we like it. Once again, we look a look at this one though, where we have a queen doubleton in their suit, either at one heart or two heart. I wouldn't give that one much value. All right. Next, let's take a look at negative doubles and fine points with a special auction. That is where it starts. One club and righty bids one diamond. Well, in this auction, when we double, we are absolutely promising four cards in the majors. That's just one of the rules. Most everybody plays it that way. Um, it's a very good guide, so I would recommend that you learn this one. It's a little bit different than what we did on Monday, and that's why I saved it, because it's not really that intuitive unless you've started playing it before. But this one promises 4-4 four, four in the majors. Okay, what if you don't have it? Well, how about when it goes one club, one diamond, and you bid one heart or one spade? Then you're lacking 4-4 four, four in the majors. Got it? And instead, you're just bidding your four-card suit, the one that you do have four or more, right? You could have more than four, five, six, seven. We don't know. Okay, next one. How about the takeout versus the negative doubles? Yeah, we said there were some big differences. Do you recall what they were? The takeout double and then a new suit, that promised the type two double. Remember that 17, 18 point hand or more? Good self-sustaining suit or nearly so. A uh, hundred honors maybe in the suit or a good sixer. Then how about the negative double? Well, the negative double, first off, if you think about it, if it went where we did a two-level bid as responder, we're showing that five and dime, right? We're showing 10 points or more. And if it's two of a major, we're showing five card suit. So what if we don't have that? What if we have a hand where we just want to play? Well, then as the negative double and responder, we double first and then bid our suit. And it's just a sign off. Since responder's initial two level bid was forcing, remember that's the one with 10 points or more, then when we do a double and then bid our suit, that's our sign off. Not interest in going any further. One diamond by our partner. Let's say it goes two clubs. Boy, isn't that about the toughest auction that our righty can put us in? They've gobbled up all the space away from the majors. It's a wonderful bit if you can do it as the overcaller with 13 points or more. And you're very happy sometimes when you have shortness in the majors because you know you've made it tough for them. The pairs that like to play where you need to have exactly 4-4 four, four in this auction, hmm, you're going to be in a pretty bad position. You're kind of stuck. So a lot of people say it just is 4-3 in spades and hearts or 3-4. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have exactly 4-4. Four, four. It would be nice if you did, but now at this point, when they're showing opening values, we're just kind of hustling to get in two of a major. Okay? How about where it goes one diamond by our partner, one spade by righty, and double? Does it promise exactly four hearts? Well, no, no, it could be five hearts. Maybe five hearts and you've only got eight points. You're getting ready to do that sign-off bid. Remember, you double first and then bid a suit. Could be something like that coming on. So it doesn't mean exactly four. It could be this other type of a double and then a suit bid. We just spoke about that. Similarly, one heart by our partner, one by righty. Well, we don't have three-card heart support, so we can't bid hearts. We don't have eight points or more and our good seven and two spade stoppers so we can't bid one no trump we may actually only have seven point hand and have six diamonds all right so when responders makes a double and then bids a new suit remember it is to play a sign off bid little different than what you were expecting with other auctions Okay, for our Bridge Hands members, we're going to have an additional discussion. We won't go over those for our basic members today, but just so you have a flavor for some that you may know or be interested in checking out if you want to become a Bridge Hand member, be things such as where it starts with one heart by partner, goes one spade, and responder goes to no trump. How about one heart, one spade by opponent, and we go three spades? Well, goodness, we're cubiting. At that high level, what does that mean? How about one heart, one spade by righty, or just two spades? 
a qubit, but not a jump qubit. Or maybe something like one club by partner, one heart, three hearts by us. And here's some other ones that come up also. One heart by partner, week two, two spades by opponent, righty. We go three spades, well, what if it goes four spades by lefty? In other words, they've got a long preemptive between the two of them. What's the bidding continuations on this one? When are they forcing? What happens? How about direct versus pass out seat bidding? When we borrow king, we'll discuss some of those. And what would a typical losing trick count hand be for an opener? What's the normal opener's LTC? And how about responder? On average, how many would you expect from a responder in terms of their cover cards? And how about this auction? Starts one diamond by partner, and it does this two club by righty. Um, if you pass, is that forcing? Or should it be? Interesting, yes, when we start getting into competitive auctions. Preempts. Everybody loves a good preempt, don't they? Our partner preempts two diamonds. They go two spades, and we do a double. What is that? Partner goes one diamond. They go three clubs, and now we double. How high should our negative doubles go? How about one club by us, and then righty goes three diamonds, three hearts, or three spades, and we do a double. Have you ever heard of the thrump doubles, the three no trump double? It was invented by Marty Bergen, and the name popularized by the great world-class player, Eric Rodwell. And then something like when our partner opens at a one level, and they go to a four level, say four hearts, and we go four no trump. What in the world does that mean? Hmm, interesting, yes? So we have a lot to cover yet. For the advanced members, please go ahead on to part two. And for the rest of us, we'll look forward to seeing you on Friday where we get into further refinements on rebids. So I hope you have a good day. Thanks for coming by and have a great day playing bridge. Bye now.